cruel social media remarks. Facebook comments have been pouring in after four people died while hiking. You're dealing with an addicted generation. This is a big time bomb ticking. These kids who commit suicide, you go look at their Instagrams, you would have no clue. Mr. Zuckerberg, would you be comfortable sharing with us the name of the hotel you stayed in last night? Um. Uh. No. People who spend more time on Facebook suffer higher rates of depression than people who spend less time on Facebook. It'll destroy relationships, it'll cost time, and it'll cost money, and it'll make your life worse. Social media has become an integral part of our lives. We use it to connect with friends and family, to catch up on current events, and perhaps most importantly, to entertain ourselves. This is why more than 2.6 billion people use social media. The history of social media is a brief yet tumultuous one. Studying it can help us better understand just how much and how quickly the world around us is changing. The internet has its roots in the 1960s and 1970s, when various private and public organizations were working to try and find ways to get computers to communicate with one another. In a sense, this can be considered as the beginning of social media. Social media incorporates the online technology and methods, and it gives us equal opportunity in what we do. It enhances the way we think about things. It makes almost everything transparent. It is powerful and it works as an amplifier. We get there faster and we get there easier. Social media isn't about just the platforms like Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. It is the people, it is you, it is everyone. These people being connected, having a united mind that will help solve bigger problems than ever before. You see, we have the power of choice and this is the most beautiful thing in social media. The global social media users surpassed 2 billion users in 2016. This shows the increasing rate of social media users each year with 2.77 billion users as of 2019. The most popular social network worldwide is Facebook, with 2 billion monthly active users in 2019. Other popular social networks include Instagram, with 800 million monthly users, WhatsApp, with 1.2 billion users, and FB Messenger, with 1.2 billion users. The spread of advanced laptops, smartphones, and tablets led to the increase of mobile social networks. Globally, the average duration of social media users is 2 hours and 16 minutes every day. In the United Kingdom, the average social media use is 1 hour and 48 minutes. The Philippines leads with 4 hours and 17 minutes, 2 hours and 6 minutes in the US, and 40 minutes in Japan. We can see that every year, the global time spent daily on social media is increasing. This means that more people are exposed and engaged to different effects of social media. What are the cause and effects of social media? Now, before I explain what are the bad effects of social media, we all know that this helps us in terms of communication significantly. From sending letters to our loved ones, which takes too much time, we are now typing to our keyboards from our cell phones and our laptops, and in just one tap, we can send those messages instantly. Social media also helps us in gaining inter entertainment, especially in YouTube where we can watch videos like horror movies, love stories, or comedies, or even videos from our favorite idols. Social media also helps us in getting updated from any news around, around us, like uh, it is about news reports like sports, or weather reports, or what is the new trending. But because of those advantages we get from social media, certain bad effects also arises. As I mentioned earlier, social media gives us entertainment, but because of that, we become less productive. Instead of doing our homeworks or projects or even review for the upcoming examination, we tend to face our cell phones, go to bed, watch videos, and view messages for the most of our time. Social media also gives us better communication, but because of that, Cyberbullying also happens where sending of harmful information or sending pictures in which it, it tends to destroy other people. And lastly, social media also 
keeps us updated, especially what is the new trending. But because of that, we tend to imitate those trending in which in reality we can't and it results to sadness. Social media is a great thing and has connected the world and made it easy to keep up with friends, family and the news. Millions of people use social media each and every day and the numbers are only rising as more parts of the world begin to adopt the technology. However, not everything is perfect about social media and you need to watch what you do and say on the platforms. You need to watch what you share, say and support on social media. Even something as simple as liking a tweet or a certain photo could land you in hot water. Sure, it's great to have freedom of speech and the freedom to do what you want. And while it is your right, you never know how people are going to respond to the things you post. Not everything should be taken as a fact. Simply seeing something on social media tweeted from a verified account or a company doesn't always mean it's right. There are plenty of inaccurate and untruthful comments sent out to people we simply take as a fact. You might be on it too much. In an effort to stop yourself from becoming addicted to using social media too much, you should always be aware of how often you are using social media. Here are some more tips on how to become aware on social media. Social media is a big thing, since it is still a tool for communication and entertainment. But remember, you are not anonymous, you are not protected, and you are almost always tracked and traceable. Social media is neither good nor bad. Perhaps the better question to ask is how can I use social media for good? Enjoy social media responsibly. 